What's going on? My name is Matt Pinello with Matt Bangs Wood and today I'm going to show you guys how to remove a load bearing wall. We're on a remodel project right now and as you can see this kitchen here carries these ceiling joists. Now you might be wondering what the heck is a load bearing wall. I'm going to tell you. A load bearing wall is any wall that is carrying a load. As you can see the ceiling joist comes over and ends at this edge of the wall here. This ceiling joist here comes over and ends at the other edge of the wall. The weight of those ceiling joists are being held by this 2x4 wall. Now since this wall is coming down, we need a way to support those ceiling joists where this whole roof doesn't end up sagging. So, I'm going to show you guys step by step everything you need to do in order to take out this load bearing wall. Let's get to it. Now all in all, the process of doing this is very simple. Put a post here, put a beam going from here all the way over into there. Hang all of these ceiling joists to that beam and that carries the weight of the ceiling. At that point, this whole wall can come down. Nice and simple, we have two 14 inch, one and three quarter LVLs. We are going to be taking out this wall, installing a four by four here, post cap on top, LVL ran all the way across over to that post over there on the corner. Now to get started, what we're actually going to do is shore up both sides of this wall. That way when we take the wall down, we don't end up with this ceiling falling on top of us. So I'm gonna go ahead and shore just to the right of this drywall and just to the left of that drywall over there. All the way back to here and all the way over to where we're gonna be installing this beam. All right, so we're gonna start by putting up this 2 by 4 here. Screwing that to the ceiling joist. We're gonna use this to shore off of. So you don't need much to hold up the weight of that ceiling. We're gonna do the same thing along this kitchen in here, all the way down to these cabinets here. I'm gonna do a little four foot piece from in there out to there. I've only got four in here. You'll see some guys do 16 on center like you're studding out a wall. Personally, this doesn't weigh a whole lot, so I'm not too worried about it. We'll do five or six down this way, a couple in there, and call it good. From there, we're gonna take and cut all this out, remove this wall. I highly suggest screwing all of your shoring material. You take it all down, you can reuse it all later. So we've got this all shored up behind me. Like I said, we're not going overboard on shoring just because we're not holding a whole heck of a lot of weight. We have this shored up along here and the kitchen shored up. Quentin right now is getting the last four or five feet into the hallway shored up. In the case that you're getting rid of a beam or a load bearing wall in a two story home where you have a roof system and a floor system above you, I highly suggest doing 16 on center just to be sure. Better safe than sorry, but this old place there ain't a whole lot above us. We're shored up, we're safe.
goodness. As you guys can see with our shoring, I'm standing directly on top of where we have it completely demoed underneath. There's no flexing whatsoever. So this little guy that we just installed on edge is called a purlin. And basically what that's going to do is give structural support to make sure that these rafters, which are two by four, spanning about 14 feet, don't end up with a sag. Since we're gonna be taking out the section where the one by six are attached, we need to have some other support system to where this roof doesn't cave in. So basically we took out the 1x6 braces that were in the way of where our beam is going to go, tossed in some 2x4 braces to hold up. Now it's time we can get this top plate out of here, get these joists cut, get this beam set. Our 4x4 is going to run to the top of those plates. Once we get this post in, I'll show you the rest. Look at that laser. Love that thing. Super visible lines. Right through here, slide it up. I'm gonna get up into the rafters where I can grab it and pull it up. Nice and tight. 
both sides. These cute little guys are LUS 24s. These go on the 2x4s. An LUS 26 can hold a 2x6 or a 2x8. Once again, before we take off, that is inch and three quarter by 14 LVL, doubled up there, held together with 16s. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, drop a comment down below. That's all we have time for today though, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications to keep up with everything I got going. Removal of a load bearing wall. Fun stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys next time. Bang on.